Ready? Go ahead, open. Oh, oh that's incredible. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to another home makeover. Today we are heading over to my parents' house to completely furnish and decorate their newly refinished basement. My parents moved into their forever home in the forest a few years ago and after finishing the basement the first time, it actually ended up flooding a few months later. So they had to do it all over again. So this is actually round two of the basement remodel. Thankfully, everything is fixed now. So they asked me to design their new space to make this empty basement feel like a cozy living area. Some furniture pieces are thrifted from Facebook Marketplace. Some are new and others are existing furniture pieces they've already had that was saved from the flood. My parents style is super different than mine so I'm excited to show you guys a space that's different than what you're used to seeing on my channel. I would describe their style as Scandi rustic with some traditional elements here and there. They want this space to feel cozy and moody with color and personality while still remaining calm and collected. I created a design using the furniture pieces my parents picked out and drew up the most functional yet aesthetic layout for this particular space. I'm incorporating a cozy shag rug and natural wood elements as well as lots of greenery to really bring the outside in and of course we're going to play around with different decor and artwork as well to add in the finishing touches now that the game plan is set let's bring this rendering to life Today's video is sponsored by Beam. Dream is a luxurious drink blend filled with the highest quality sleep promoting ingredients. So you're supposed to take this at night before you go to bed and it significantly improves your sleep. It helps you stay asleep and it just puts you in a deep sleep. So when you wake up, you feel a lot more energized and just a lot more refreshed. Whenever I take this, I always wake up with zero grogginess, which is kind of insane because I am definitely not a morning person, um, but they have two different flavors. They have the cinnamon cocoa flavor and then the sea salt caramel i like both of them but i think my favorite is the sea salt caramel i have been taking this pretty much every night before i go to bed and i just mix one to two scoops in with some hot water i personally have the cbd version they have a version that has cbd and then one that doesn't have cbd um, i do know that the cbd version is clinically Proved to improve sleep. Click the link below and use the code Kenzie Mac to shop my exclusive discount and get up to 35% off of Bean's clinically tested nighttime blend dream. We're starting by laying out this rug. This is a nine by 12 size and I'm laying this out first because all of our furniture will go on top of this. And we're gonna use this rug as a guide to kind of center the room. That way all of the furniture looks cohesive and very evenly spaced. This rug is so soft and perfect for a basement or any room that you wanna add some comfort to. Because my parents had to tear their previous carpet out and replace it with tile, they really wanted a rug that was going to feel as cozy as the carpet did. And the high pile on this rug really does the trick. I love the ivory color and the subtle chevron pattern. It's affordable, cozy, and I think my mom will love this. Now let's add in the furniture. This couch is a marketplace find and definitely brings in that traditional touch with the curved arms and genuine leather. This next couch is a beige reclining couch that's super cozy, not the most aesthetic, but it's practical and automatic, so it's definitely pretty cool and we can work with it. I'm framing out the other side with these two yellowish orange accent chairs. These are the same hue, but a different tone of the leather sofa across from it. Ideally, I would have opted for a more contrasting color here so the two sides don't feel like they're competing with each other but like I said we are working with what we have and my mom actually really likes these two leather chairs together and the sofa so we are making it work in the space the best we can for now
Scandi Rustic design focuses on clean, straight lines, earthy tones, and natural materials, all to create a cozy ambiance. This style uses color while maintaining a timeless, minimal feel. I'm adding in this rustic side table to the side, and I'm also adding a taller olive tree over here to add some height to this side of the wall. Also putting in the storage basket that's also a side table. I'm putting in different cozy blankets to add some texture and to also tie in the different orange colors throughout the room. Practical too, I'm using it as a blanket basket so it just makes it feel all the more cozy. if I want to leave this beam just as is or if I want to put decor on it I think it's beautiful like this um, it was reclaimed it's actually from my parents yard they live in the forest and they just got it out of their yard so who knows how long and how old it is um, but it's beautiful it has so much character and I feel like I don't even want to cover it up I feel like I want to give it its own moment and just let it stand out so I think that's what I'm gonna do and just decorate the shelves around it. This one and this one. Dang it, this isn't gonna fit. Wah, wah. Now that all the furniture is in, it's time to add in all the finishing decor touches. My mom really loves displaying her family pictures, so I took this opportunity to display them on her shelves. I wanted to show different pictures and also include different decor pieces without it feeling too overly crowded. If I were to put only pictures up on the shelves, it would look a little odd, so I'm going to balance it out with some greenery, books, and decor as well. I'm making sure I space out the frames evenly so no two frames are directly next to or across from each other. My rule of thumb is to work in diagonal lines when styling shelves. So I like to put frames diagonally from each other. Same with stacks of books or plants or any similar shaped items. That way it looks more balanced when I'm looking at the shelves from afar. For example, I have a different wicker basket on each shelf. Same material, just different shapes. I have pairs of vases that are similar shapes, but different colors and sizes. We want the shelves to look like sisters, not twins. We want the decor to feel collected yet cohesive. Now that everything is finished up, I cannot wait to show you the final result, but first let me show my parents.
Oh, oh that's incredible. Oh my gosh. That's great. Look where you put everything. This is so nice. Do you like it? Yes. If you are looking for help with designing or decorating a space in your home, we run a virtual and in-person interior design firm and we are currently accepting new clients. So click the link down below to fill out a form so we can learn more about your project. And then we will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a consultation. Let me know what you guys thought of today's makeover. I know it's not my usual style, but I thought it would be fun to switch it up a bit and kind of show you a glimpse of my interior designer side by doing someone else's space for a change. Any feedback or thoughts on today's video is much appreciated. And please like this video if you want to see more videos like this. Please consider subscribing if you're new and be sure to say hi in the comments too. I would love to have a chat with you. And also don't forget to check out Beam. I will leave the link and my discount code down below. Thanks so much for sticking around. You guys are the best. We will see you in a few days in a new one. Bye.